Cheers again. Here is your final video to learn Una Funa part three. Um, the really good news is part three is almost the exact same as part one. You're basically doing all the same patterns except for the ending and you do actually have a pretty cool fun ending. Um, I think the numbers change on this one too. So you're gonna be doing that pattern um, again but you're also going to be doing two other patterns. You're going to be doing just the, this is, I guess, I don't know if you'd call this a pattern, but it's GD, just like that. And then there's also going to be a pattern where you're going to be going. So the difference was this one, it's just G and D. The other one, you're alternating G, F. And then, of course, there's still just our original pattern, which is... So it's like this pattern and this pattern had a baby and that was the original pattern that you learned. Which I almost think is trickier because when you have parts that are so similar, uh, I think that's more confusing than if you have like two completely different parts. So the very first thing you're gonna do, it's only gonna be you and the Sopranos playing here. It's just like this little transition time. And you're gonna be doing those new parts I said. So you're gonna be going G, D, G, D, G, D, G, D then G, D, F, G, G, D. And you're gonna repeat that. And that's kind of like the intro section to part three, but only you and the Sopranos play it. So. in the audio recording because once again you're basically just playing the exact handbell parts that there are all right so then after you do that little intro you go back to the regular world which was your original pattern let's see one two three four five you're gonna do it five times that's nice oh jk you're gonna do it three times and then you're gonna do that turnaround pattern that you learned in part one the So three times on that regular pattern. Then one time again, just like part one, and then you do the second turnaround. Let's see if you do that seven times afterwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. So it's so similar to part one, except... When you get to here, after the transition, you only do it three times instead of five. So while you have all the way up until the very special ending, you start with that transition section. And then you start the original pattern. Um, and you actually kind of have a tricky part here, but it's cool, so worth it. You're gonna go G, B, A, F. And then you're gonna go down here, and hopefully the camera will. The camera goes to G. Hmm. You will be able to see most of it. And then you're gonna go D, C, so, D, C, A, C, and then you go back up here, G, D, F, A, G, G. I know that was a bazillion note, so I'm going to do it again. We're going to go G, B, A, F, D, C, A, C, G, D, F, A, G, G. And it 
is supposed to go kind of fast. I haven't practiced this, so I don't know if I can go too fast, but it's supposed to be like. Um, so like that, except without the big um in the middle while I try to figure out the part. So that little ending, you probably are gonna have to rewind and watch a bazillion times. Uh, that's okay. Or, you know, definitely try your best with it, but that is a part that we can review during our conference call. So now I'm gonna play the entire part three. And I know the part three is kind of tricky and I'm rushing through it a little bit, but I just believe in you guys. Got, you know, got a lot to do at home other than play marimba. You don't have other classes, right? All right, so from the very beginning of part three. play that any one more time slower because I messed it up. All right, so use that to practice the best you can. Good luck with it.